Thanks for your attention to our latest work, Empirical Analysis of System-Wise Evaluation on Goal-Oriented Dialogue System. I am Luch Takanobu from Tsinghua University. Here are all the contents of our speech. Let's begin with the background of Goal-Oriented Dialogue System. The Goal-Oriented Dialogue is a multi-turn conversation between the user and the system that the system helps the users accomplish its goals. Here is a common pipeline architecture of a goal-oriented dialogue system, which contains four components. Natural language understanding, dialogue state tracking, dialogue policy, and natural language generation. In recent years, there are many models proposed in goal-oriented dialogue system, but it is challenging to evaluate the system. There are many automatic metrics used in each model. For example, slot F1 and intent F1 are used for slot filling and intent classification in the natural language understanding tasks. Blue perplexity and the slot error rate are used as metrics in natural language generation. However, each module is evaluated separately and almost all metrics are in the single turn settings. So it is very challenging to evaluate the overall performance of a dialogue system in the multi-turn setting. In addition, there is a wide variety of system configuration settings to build a dialogue system. So it is also difficult to, to evaluate the different dialogue system across different architectures. So we want to conduct multi-turn system-wise simulated and human evaluation over a wide variety of configurations and settings to investigate overall performance of recent dialogue systems. We want to answer the following four research questions. First, which configurations lead to better goal-oriented dialogue systems? Second, whether the component-wise single-term metrics are consistent with system-wise multi-term metrics. Third, how does the performance vary when a system is evaluated using tasks of different complexities? And last, does simulated evalu evaluation correlate well with human evaluation? To give an in-depth evaluation results, we use the multi use a multi-domain goal-oriented dialogue corpus for experiments. We augmented it with NLU annotation. A user goal is launched to initialize a dialogue during the evaluation. It is a description of the state that a user wants to reach in a conversation. To ensure a fair comparison, a fixed set of 1,000 user goals for I are extracted for evaluation. The domain distribution of user goals is derived from the original corpus. We also use the ComLab as the experimental platform. It provides a benchmark and facilitate building systems with different architectures. It also offered an a agenda-based user simulator for simulated interaction. The dialogue acts from the input and output of user policies are used for evaluation. To perform system-wise multi-turn evaluation, we refer to a paradise framework. We count the dialogue turn to estimate dialogue cost. A user utterance and a subsequent system utterance are regarded as one dialogue turn. Two metrics are used to estimate task success. Inform F1 evaluates whether all the information requests are fulfilled and the match rate assess whether the offered entity meets all the constraints specified in a user goal. We also compare a set of dialogue systems across different system configurations. For each model, we also compare a bunch of models. In natural language understanding, we apply joint tagging scheme that combine the labels of slot filling and intent classification with domain annotation. For dialogue state tracking, 
We use a rule-based dialog act level, the dialog state tracker, and the three and four word level dialog state tracker. For dialog policy, we also use a rule-based policy and a reinforced learning-based GDPL and other three word level policy. For natural language generation, we use a retrieval-based model and SCLS CMM. And we also compare the two end-to-end -end systems. We replicate the performance reported in the original papers or on the leaderboard using open source codes to the experiment. Here is the result of experiment. We can observe that system one and two achieve the high overall performance. And in general, the pipeline systems perform better than the joint system and end-to-end -end systems. There are two strategies to predict a dialogue state. The system that use a separate NLU and DST model are performed better than the system using a word-level DST. In particular, the system five to eight have very poor overall performance. This is because the word level DST do not capture the intent information, which is very essential for the dialogue policy. There are also two strategies to generate system response. The system use policy and the NLG model often perform better than the system use a word level policy. However, the results from the system 12 to system 14 showed that the system that using a word level DST combined with a word level policy performs relatively well. This is because the utterances are encoded again in the word level policy. We also want to know whether the component wise evaluation co uh, is consistent with the Result of system wise evaluation. The results show that the component wise evaluation in DST are not consistent with the overall performance in system wise evaluation. The system six that used the sum BT achieved the best, uh, the best as overall performance among the four DST. However, the camera has achieve the best performance in component-wise evaluation. Similarly, the result in natural language generation is, is uh, uh, natural language generation component-wise evaluation is not consistent with that of the system-wise evaluation. Although end-to-end -end, models achieve high success rate in the single turn setting. The performance drops significantly in the multi-turn setting. We also want to know how their performance varies with the complexities of the tasks. For different single domain, most systems achieve better performance in restaurant and train than the attraction domain. This is because the attraction domain is more, the, the annotation in attraction domain are more noisy. For different number of domains, all systems have performance drop as the number of domains increases. However, the pipeline system performs more robust. We also want to know if the simulated evaluation correlates well with the human evaluation. A subset of 100 goals are extracted from for human evaluation. Five systems across different architectures are used here. For another two metrics are used here to estimate the quality of language response. The results show that simulated evaluation correlates moderately well with human evaluation. However, the task success rate of most systems decreases significantly in human evaluation. 
This indicated that existing dialogue systems are vulnerable to the variation of human language. In conclusion, the pipeline systems often achieve better overall performance than joint models and end-to-end -end systems. The results of component-wise single-turn evaluation are not always consistent with that of system-wise multi-turn evaluation. Performance of dialogue systems drop significantly with the increase of task complexity, while pipeline systems are relatively robust. Simulated evaluation correlates moderately well with human evaluation. From the result, we, we know that the good in semantic parsing is essential to build a dialogue system. Though the pipeline system performs better, it requires fine-grained annotation, so it is still important to study the end-to-end -end system. We advocated that proposed models should be assembled into a complete system for meaningful evaluation and fair comparison. The results of task complexity show that scalability and robustness are important and should be improved. Despite the discrepancy between the user simulator and the real human users, simulated evaluation is still a valid, valid alternative in the early stage of development. Thanks for listening.